Hey guys, uh, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to animate the lines on a drawing uh, or an animation without you actually animating the lines. Uh, we're going to animate these lines using a noise modifier and I'll show you how to get it done in this video. So let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and pause this uh, here, pause it, and then I'm going to reopen it so that we can do it all from the beginning. So uh, hit open, recent, don't save. So this is just a drawing uh, of a little anime character that I did uh, as I practiced um, to draw. <clears throat> and when I opened it up, uh, lo and behold, I get the, uh, the little problem, the little dotted line problem. Uh, and I have a video on how to fix this, but real easy. Uh, I think it was a problem in 9.0, uh, 2.90, I'm sorry, 2.90. So 2.91, it's working fine. I just have to go to the dot stroke and select mode type uh, line. And then boom, there it is. And then the reason we're seeing it in black and white is because we're seeing it in shaded mode. Once we click to um, material mode and or print mode, uh, print preview or render preview, sorry, this is render preview, then we'll see it uh, in full color. And so what we have here is a, uh, I'm gonna go to object mode so I can show you what we have. We have a stroke uh, here um, that I drew this character on this stroke and then I have a plane here's a plane it's a 3d plane I just went to object add and then mesh plane and then I have a light lighting up this plane and so if I hit zero um, that's what gives me this um, gradient it's actually a light um, hitting that plane in the back it's not affecting my actual um, my actual grease pencil object, which is the anime character. So not a big deal. It just I just made it to, to have some some kind of a background. So we want to animate the we want to give the stroke some variance, and we want to have it animatable. Not only do, can we give the stroke some variance and have it be set like that for the rest of the animations, it could be animatable and it's really easy. You select your uh, object, uh, in this case it's the, the um, grease pencil stroke, and we're going to add a modifier. It's a modifier and it's called a uh, noise modifier. Once you click on it, everything goes off a little bit. Uh, and if you leave it like that, if you like that result, that's fine. But there are so many um, options that you can work with. Uh, the position is not really what you th would think position, uh, but it's mostly like how strong it is, you would think. And so how, how much of it do you want? I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so you can see what's going on. It's it's applying that noise modifier a lot or a little. So we're gonna leave it right here. The strength is basically the transparency. If at a at a strength of zero, uh, you can see everything. But let me click off of it and then just at a strength of one, you can kind of see that it went transparent uh, so the strength is how strong it is but I don't get why it's called strength it's mostly like um, in some areas all right so we're gonna leave this at zero so that we can see everything I'll just put it completely at zero the thickness is how thick do the lines get as the variance, as the position. Um, and so how thick do you want these lines to get? And then the noise, 
uh, scale is how how big that scale is. How this this is kind of the, the strength of it. How noisy is the scale? At zero, not a lot of noise. You can see that the, the you can see that it's taking an effect, but it's you know it, it just doesn't seem noisy. The lines are still straight. So the noise is what makes the lines wavy like that. Uh, and so if you play around with this, you know, the, the position and the noise and then the randomness. Now, if I click off randomness and I hit play, nothing moves. It just stays there static. But if I click on randomness, I'm going to open it up and then hit play, uh, it starts to move. You know, it starts to move. It's animated. Now, you're not seeing a, a, a real preview because the frame rate is affected here. Uh, I am in render preview, so it's going a little slow. Hit stop here. And the step is, I believe, how quick let's crank that up and you can see hardly any it was just a one you can see hardly any I think it's it may be every 71 frames so let's try that out if we go every five frames and hit play boom 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 and so you can see you can control how how fast this goes if i go one every frame um you should go pretty crazy here it is here it is so that's the jittery type of a uh, animation and the seed is the randomness um the randomness if you don't like how something is moving you can gen regenerate that seed and it'll it'll just move differently uh, the influence is what are you wanting it what part of your um, drawing do you want it to randomize you can pick a layer for instance just the uh, the lines layer everything else is static you can see the 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 shadows here all the colors are completely still only the lines are um, animated or maybe the shadows you want animated let's say that uh, she's by a fire and you can see the shadows flickering or the highlights the highlights if there's a light that's flickering and it's hitting her hair you can also randomize the material now here I'm gonna I'm gonna click off this layer and have everything but you can also randomize the material and so let's look at the dot stroke and that randomizes only the black stroke now I can't randomize the pink the beige or the green because I used um, the vertex color and I did not create any materials for this drawing so you don't see them here but um, you do see that dot stroke and that's that black line now if you want everything just click off of it and everything will be randomized and it's a cool little trick guys if you have like maybe um, some stuff that is still in the background and you want just a little bit of motion you can act you can um, add this modifier it's a noise modifier to your grease pencil object and then select exactly what you want it and then how fast and how slow do you want it uh, you get you have a lot of control here so you can play with the controls and you just get exactly what you want for example I, I'm thinking that this is too much and if I click off of it and start maybe just a little bit of of um, noise in the lines just like that perfect to add a little bit of motion without you actually going through the trouble of redrawing this frame by frame this uh, noise modifier 
awesome way to add a little bit of life into your animations uh, without the big, big struggle of frame by frame animating it. Hey guys, as always, thanks for watching. And uh, if you like the video, go ahead and click the like button and subscribe. And I will see you on the next one. Thank you guys.